Now, every day, millions of people uprooted by violence in South Sudan hope for one thing, peace. Here in Washington, one South Sudanese video game developer has come up with a playful way to promote peace in the virtual world. And as BOA's Ayen Bior reports, he is hoping it will inspire peace in the real world. Lual Mayan spends much of his time working on Janub Games, a line of video games designed to promote peace. Mayan says he believes Janub Games could help young people find a different way of resolving conflict. When I started uh, my first game, uh, that's called Salam, so what I realized that is that um, engaging people into, you know, bringing people together and then, um, you know, being a role, uh, a role player in a game actually can be able to help you to change your mind and actually your attitude and actually your perception uh, toward each other in a way that uh, depend on the gameplay. He was looking for ways to bring fractured communities together and attract young people to video games for peace. In short, you play for peace. In the real world, there's a lot of work ahead. Conflict in South Sudan entered its fifth year this month. Ongoing fighting has torn communities apart, pitting ethnic groups against each other. Matthew Lee is Mayan's business partner. He believes solving South Sudan's deep-rooted problems will take a lot more than a video game. But he thinks Janub Games is a good start. And that's why I find this work I do with serious games so powerful because I'm helping to build a community around serious games. That is games that are meant for more than just entertainment. Games that are meant to change the world. The idea for Janub Games started in South Sudan's capital Juba, but it was here at the U.S. Institute of Peace where Mayen was able to receive guidance from the Peace Tech Accelerator program earlier this year. Janub Games has already been distributed in Yamazi and Rhino refugee camps in Uganda with plans for distribution in more refugee camps in northern Uganda as well as IDP sites across South Sudan. But Mayen says he wants to expand Janub Games to other parts of the world. You know, the conflict is everywhere in the world. So I have to make sure that I'm keeping my mind that this game are not only for South Sudanese, how they are not only made for South Sudanese, a war content. They're made like you, you know, to benefit everybody. It's not only like, for example, in South Sudan, but actually with the families, within the families. So, you know, peace is something that is built over time. So we need a lot of processes, you know, to, you know, to tackle it. That process continues in Ethiopia this week, where South Sudanese politicians and activists are meeting for another round of talks to end the four-year civil war and bring about real-world peace. Ayan Bior for VOA News, Washington.